I was born in Denver, Colorado. Really got into aquariums and saltwater fish growing up. Really decided that I wanted to pursue a career in marine biology. And that led me to look into Palm Beach Atlantic University, uh, just on the water in West Palm Beach. Especially the area I was in off the breakers that's, an, that's a spot I've been to hundreds of times. I suggested to my dad and brother-in-law and uh, you know, niece and nephew uh, that we go take the boat for, for a quick trip. I was you know, fully in, engaged in, in driving the boat and there was a moment where uh, I looked over and saw a group of divers in the water, and it was a group that I had already passed. So I hear this especially loud boat sound. Uh, I looked to my north, which is to my right at the time, and I saw this large hole of a boat headed straight towards me probably like less than half a second, just braced for some kind of impact. First thing I noticed was this right arm was completely gone. I saw, uh, I looked down, I saw, I saw my arm on the reef there, and that's when the immediate panic set in. I couldn't really see anything. I started to go under, I was struggling to breathe. I heard Carter screaming. Um, I, heard, I heard screams, um, and I saw the cloud of, of blood in the water. And at that point, it was obvious that, 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 that I had hit somebody. Those images and those series of events, I mean, I'll, those, will, those will be with me for the rest of my life. I thought, there's no way I'm getting out of this. I'm dead. Um, and it, it really set in deep at that moment that, you know, all your life, you're living it, and then suddenly like that, it can be over. This is a huge tragedy, but out of the tragedy can come something great, and that is now my mission. I was fully alert. I wasn't distracted. Um, I, I wasn't having a conversation with anybody. I wasn't playing with my radio. I wasn't on the phone. I was fully alert, standing up behind the wheel, fully engaged in, in, atten in, in, in attentive, and it still happened. So it, it can happen to anyone. It will happen, it does happen. Um, I literally thought the same thing, or the chances of getting hit by a boat when you're out in the big ocean like that. We had a diving conference down in Fort Lauderdale called the Blue Wild, and so we talked about dive flag safety, and I was up in front of the room giving a speech and I asked how many people or how many folks had near, near close calls. And just about everybody in the room raised their hand. I can't stress this enough. It is just crucial to, to make yourself at least noticeable. Dive flag anything because it, it's a life or death situation. This is the traditional dive flag that you're out on the water, but as you can see, when it's in this position from the vessel, it's hard to see. It's sort of like holding a piece of paper sideways. You, can't, you just can't see it. These newly developed three-dimensional sides, you can see from all three sides. It eliminates the possibility that wind can make a, a flag essentially invisible you know, to the eye from, from, di from any distance. Um, so I think by having a, just a bigger object in the water, you know, that's brightly colored, it, it'll be a lot harder to miss. And I feel as, as, as if 
if that had been the case that day, this, this never would have happened.